All right, my pitso Sabede joins me with showbiz uh, this evening, and she takes over from uh, from Miss G. Hello, she, she she stands in or sits in. Okay, I think sits in is better. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. How are you, Izzy? Yeah, yeah, I'm well. I see this month, hey, Ghana month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I probably should have told the viewers mm -hmm. that uh, we're doing because of Ghana month. The whole of this month, I'm going to do. Uh, African. Okay, that's yeah. that's really nice. Okay, but now you've seen uh, Beryl Richter's uh, documentary Born, Born Special. Yes, and entrepreneur Ernest Domi went to go donate at the Jolie Special School. Right. But uh, John Dumelo and uh, Stone Boy were there and they were just encouraging people to, you know what, once in a while, just give back to the less privileged, give back to the special ones. I mean, we're all born the same, some different, but you know what, we're all different in a good way. So check it out. I, I can hardly talk because anytime I see these things, I get so emotional. And it reminds me of the favor of God on all of us that we all will the others. Mr. Ernest, and interestingly, it's my birthday as well. So when he said he wanted to do such, um, such a benevolent uh, thing, I, I, I accepted to come with him. And this is my first time over here in, in this premises. Yes, I've said it. It's my first time here at Jowli Special School. Anyway, we'll talk about them later, but let's just concentrate on the good deeds that some people like himself are doing for the vulnerable in the society. And I send this out there to the masses to also know that we are all involved. So in our own little way, let us support each other and look out for one another. Those in the prisons, those in the special schools, those in the hospitals, and even those who are not in the prisons, hospitals, or whatsoever, but don't have anything but are, are in their various homes. Let us look out for them. And like he said, it's the Ghana month, so let's show love. And let's spread love. Let's do the best we can. Kito as much as possible to show care. Um, when you look at when you look at the population of Ghana, about 2.5 or 3 million people are living with disabilities among us, and we must be able to take care of them. Especially making sure that most of the structures are accessible by them, so that everywhere that they go, they will not have difficulty in accessing some of these building structures and so on and so forth. But aside from that, I just want to plead that we all take our time to visit those with disability, to help them, because sometimes they just need little, little things that we know that we can afford to give them. And well, uh, we, whilst at it, we just have to wish uh, Stoneboy, the president of BIM Nation, yeah. happy birthday. It's mm -hmm. his birthday today. And uh, he also has a concert coming up this evening. Wish him all the best. For that. Oh, and it's my mom's birthday also. So. Your mom's birthday? Yeah, it's my okay. mom's birthday. So happy birthday, mom! <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. All right, now. Seven hours. <laughs> seven hours. Seven hours. Yeah. When you go home, you can go and enjoy the and, with it. Well, when I go to South Africa, yeah. But yeah. Uh, three music awards have announced uh, some of their nominees. All right. And with this video, they are announcing the song of the year. Let's check it out. Here are the nominees for Song of the Year. Killing Me Softly by Adina featuring Kwame Eugene. Wish Me Well by My Level by Shatawale CCTV by King Promise featuring Mugiz and Sakodye Obi Nyaneme by Patience Nyako Wara by Kwesi Arthur Can't Let You Go by Sarkonia featuring King Promise. Obia Wane Master by Yapono featuring Stone Boy. Adia Pena by Kitty. And Bawa Saba by Stone Boy. To vote for your favorite song of the year, dial star 713 star 2 hash and follow the prompts. To vote on social media, hashtag 3 Music Awards 19 SO, followed by the title of your favorite song to win. Three Music Awards. All right, so you can vote there.
Now, to some international news. Uh, Will Smith is set to play Richard Williams, and that is Serena and Venus's father, okay. the tennis legend. Yeah. Now, the thing is that... Which, which movie is that? Going King to Richard. So, the movie is about the father behind the two tennis All right. legends. All right. And I think that's very interesting because, I mean, you never see... Who's behind them? You know, who supported them? You know, it's always been Venus and Serena. Yes, I mean, they've, they've shared their line. Like, yeah, and like they started, he started training them at the age of four years yeah. old. Although later he said he should have started at six years old because four was a bit too young. But because people, everybody's a critic, they're saying that Will Smith shouldn't be playing it. Maybe someone like Idris Alba because Will Smith is light in complexion. Oh, no. And Richard is, is, is not that. And I'm just like, but doesn't really... Doesn't really make a difference. Otherwise, doesn't you say really, it doesn't look like him. Yeah, like it, doesn't, like it doesn't really make a difference. But we're waiting for that movie, King Richard. Right. Uh, but currently, Will Smith is uh, shooting bad boys. Bad boys, bad boys. What you going to do? You know that movie? Which, which the number? Third one. Bad boy, the third it, one. It, that's the third one. Yeah. Bad Boys 3. Yeah, Bad Boys 3. Okay. Yeah, and we can't wait. Yeah, you know, <laughs> bad bad boys. Yeah. All right, thank you. Uh, Mapitsu Sabede bringing us the show with us.